Hey guys, how's it going? Well, this is a different video, but it's a radio video, so a lot of the radio guys will be glad, glad to see the radio videos back. This is an Impress Data Battery Reader. As you can tell, it looks just like the Impress Chargers, the Smart Chargers. There's a couple differences in that when you pick this up it's very light. When you look at the back you've got an input rather than for the power cord you've got an input for a data cable. I've got this plugged into an Acer computer running Windows 7 but it will work on uh, on other things. It's got your Motorola software and a user manual. I, I really don't know too much about this except I do know this is used for fleet management and it's also used really just to give agencies who have a lot of Motorola impressed batteries and two-way radios. When you have these high to higher tier radios and the 2500 and the 3000 series radios will not give you uh, I'm trying to do my email I'm getting messages here uh, okay 3000 series radios will uh, not give you a battery level indication and I, this battery ah, would damn battery. Okay, you're just going to have to hang on just like usual. You know how that goes. Son of a bitch. Once I start a video, it's going to stay running. You guys are used to that. Well, I've got this in. I'm going to go ahead and plug this data reader in. Bear with me. And it gives you a single green LED when it comes on. But on these radios, I had a slum line on here that was an non-impress. When it's an impressed battery, it actually tells you on the 5000 and 2500 series, it'll tell you the rated capacity, remaining charges, and estimated charges. Well, that's very good. Uh, you really don't need a whole lot more information than that. The 3000 series radios don't offer that feature. Let me leave that back on. They don't offer that feature. And the 5000 and the 2500 series do. And that's a very good feature. Uh, it shows you how much gas is in the tank and lets you be able to leave the station or leave the office knowing exactly how much gas is in this tank because the last thing you want to do is be out uh, out and about and have something critical go down and then wind up uh, with a dead battery on your radio. So, you know, it's something that something that you really kind of need to let me go up in zones here. Something you kind of need to uh, think about but you really don't have to think about that when you've got a 5,000 or 2,500 because it does give you a very good indication of how much gas is in the tank. This battery data reader actually records uh, the data from your batteries and will keep them on your computers via the software I just showed you. Uh, and it's a program that goes onto your computer and I'll show you how it works here. I've got about four lights on this to light this up. But what we have here is the battery reader and it says, please insert radio in the pocket. I'm gonna do that now. As soon as I do that, all I have to do is press OK.
there's the information. As you can tell, this is a lithium ion battery. Serial number, the kit number, the present charge in milliamp. It gives you all this data that's really critical to what you what you need to know. It gives you so much more data than the radio does itself from the screen. That's the icon right there. So it gives you the manufacture date of the battery, date of first use, month and year, right down to the day, day since last reconditioning, total impressed charge cycles, I've got what, 53 on there? I'm trying to read this through the screen. Total remaining calibration charge is 15, or total reconditioning, not remaining. Uh, there's been 15 on that battery and estimated days until next reconditioning and calibration 19 and there's no recommendations this battery is fine as it sits you can go over to this next tab that's advanced and I'm just learning this software so bear with me and it gives you a table And it tells you the most recent charge, charge of information, 3.90, which is exactly what all my impressed chargers are loaded with. Battery status completed properly. LED indication, steady green. Gives you the present battery temperature. Lithium ion batteries can be very sensitive and uh, they don't do very well in the heat they they have a they do have the possibility of exploding in extreme heat so that's never a good thing uh, but it tells you the battery temperature it also gives you battery charge at the battery charge state at the beginning of the impressed charge cycles see there it's all the way up but this isn't bad let me put in a battery that's really I don't know too much about this is an impressed battery right here don't know too much about this battery but I guess we'll find out NTN 4437B, read successful. Manufacture dates, December 7th, 2006. You can go by the date codes on these batteries because all you have to do, and I tell people this, but I might as well say it in a video. I think I've done this before. Uh, I just took the battery out. That's the, uh, I think it's the 74th week of 2006. Let's see. Something like that. Anyway, this will work for the uh, XDS 5000, XDS 2500, APX. I believe it'll work for Moto Turbo. I've got inserts for different radios that I really don't plan on uh, breaking out right yet but these pockets are very nice to have. They will do the APX. I've got APX pockets and uh, Moto Turbo pockets. But you can record this information into a log, into a log file and you can save it. So it gives you a lot of good information and it tells you 
pretty much in everything you need to know about your batteries and how they're performing before you actually take them out into the field. And it gives you a much clearer indication, even above what the standard, uh, this one has a, there we go, standard capacity is on this. This battery hasn't been in an impressed charger uh, for a while. So it's a 30, 3450, 3458 milliamp present charge. Total impressed cycles, two. Sorry about the shaky camera. It does suggest that I recondition and calibrate it. Uh, that's why that battery is, the battery indicator is not showing on the radio. Uh, it needs reconditioned on an impressed charger. And I've just had it off for, uh, in fact, I, I don't remember it being on one. It may have had one cycle on there, but it's essentially a new old stock battery. The advanced tab won't show anything on this because there's really nothing to show until it's been recalibrated but, and reconditioned. But once it is calibrated, it will give you the same type of, same type of information as this does. Which is very good. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Oh man, 11 minutes. <laughs> Well, my videos have always taken a long time. This is the Motorola Impress Battery Data Reader. And it's good for agencies, it's good for companies, it's good for just radio guys who are, you know, really into their radios. If you really want to know about your batteries, uh, aside from, I've got a couple Impress chargers that actually have the LCDs on them. And they do. They they give a lot of this information. They'll give the kit number. The LCD displays will give the kit number, the serial number, and pretty much almost everything that this will give. Except this gives a little bit more information and gives you a little bit more insight. Uh, and it will also let you log that information onto your computer, which is very nice and it's a very nice feature to have. But the battery data readers, you've got to have the, you've got to actually have the hardware itself and that's just really uh, an information reader. It's a lot lighter than your regular impress charger, but it's the exact same shell. So there's really not that much difference when you look at them. So if you've got one side by side, you have to Take note that one is not uh, one is a data reader. Kind of keep it away from your other chargers if you're using desk chargers, and uh, you know if you are doing that type of uh, that type of data reporting. But to get that kind of information out of a battery, uh, as a seller of batteries and as a seller of radios, it's kind of important for me to get as much data data possible as I can to pass on to the customers and I just think of that as my responsibility uh, you know to do the very best I can and as far as the radios being going out in the field uh, these will give you a very good indication if you don't have one of these if you've got a 3000 and you don't have a meter on it you can actually just take your radio, set it in just like that, and you can read it from the computer. But again, this this is uh, this will not show the readings will not show on a three thousand like they're showing right now. You just won't get that information on a three thousand. So if you want that kind of information, you've got to put it in the battery data reader and drop it in and there you go.
So if you are using an APX, a Moto Turbo, uh, it does many different types of radios. But if you're using that type of, uh, this type of a system, an impress system for your batteries and your data readers, this ain't bad. And especially if you don't have, if you've got 3000s so that don't have that meter, uh, this will actually give you the information in a format that you can actually log into your computer and save. And for fleet management and for maintenance uh, of your radios, it's important if you've got a lot of radios and if you've got a lot of, uh, you know, mission critical uh, jobs that you're that you're undertaking. It just depends uh, on what you know what your needs are. But for a lot of people, uh, I could see. This, uh, this software is aiding very well in, uh, into what you need to know about your impressed batteries. There's a lot of them that you can buy second hand, a lot of impressed batteries, but I'll tell you one thing. Uh, one thing I've known just through the decade, the decade that I've been doing this, uh, a lot of those batteries that uh, are thrown onto radios, half of them, a little more than half uh, are just, you know, shot. They're just pretty much worthless batteries. So, you know, you pretty much, if you really want a good battery, invest your money in a good battery. It's it's silly not to, and invest your money in, in a Motorola brand battery. Don't go with, you know, with all the different non-Impress, or I mean non-Motorola brand uh, brands that are floating around because there's rails there's battery clips there's a lot of things that are real weird on those things and the batteries don't last nearly as long and they're not nearly as reliable uh, they're just not and uh, it's just been my experience you know over the past 10 years they're just not but some of them are pretty good but you know for the most part if you really are serious about your radios Invest in a Motorola radio battery and a Motorola radio. If you're serious about radios, Motorola's where it's at. Uh, but this is the battery data reader. Take it easy, guys, later on.